Do you have to know how to sing or play an instrument to be a good songwriter? Keep watching for tips from one of the Philippines' top songwriters who will share with you how to shine this 2022. Hi, I'm Trixie Esguera, and this is Good News Filipinas TV. Good morning, good afternoon, good evening. Today, let's meet the award-winning Filipina singer-songwriter behind the Philippines' most beloved hits, including the company's Now That I Have You, Regine Velasquez, Shine, parang iba yun, and World Youth Day theme song, Tell the World of His Love. Mga good news, say hi to Trina Belamide. Hello, Trixie. <laughs> and hello to feeling? everyone. How are you feeling today? Ma'am? I'm feeling good. Feeling good. It's oh. good to see you and um, thank you for having me on your show. Thank you for saying yes. Trina, you've, you're best known for writing great OPM hits. So where do you find the inspiration to write such beautiful and inspiring songs? Well, inspiration can come from anywhere. So for us professional songwriters or career songwriters, uh, you know, I think one of the misconceptions of a lot of people is that we wait for inspiration na para kailangan merong, you know, some magical moment to happen so that we come up, uh, come up with our songs. Eh, you know, since this is our job, we actually cannot afford to wait for inspiration to to write a song no it's it's a i guess it's somewhat of a skill syempre trabaho natin yan um meron na kaming mga methods of um of of you know putting ourselves in work mode if if or whenever we are tasked to write a song edi ganun so uh, if we have to write a song lalo na kung may deadline abay uh-huh. we cannot wait for inspiration kailangan go work ka agad Gina- Pwede bang malaman ng isa sa mga methods na nabanggit mo? Kunyari, wala ka lang maisip. What's your number one go-to method? Well, of course, um, you know, after many years of, um, you know, uh, we, we've, we we all have our own styles of crafting or putting together a song. Now, for me, um, one of the things I do to maybe put myself in the mood is to listen to other good songs. Ganyan. So, uh, let's say if I have an assignment, if a client says, you know, I want a song like this, this and that. Um, one thing that helps me is to, if they tell me, if I ask them, uh, what kind of a song do you want? You know, usually they have something in mind, like, gusto ko parang uh, this particular song. And then they can give us pegs, mm-hmm. uh, you know, what we call pegs. So, yun yung nags serve as inspiration, musical I inspiration. See. And then in terms of message, uh, if it's a client that has very specific uh, instructions or a specific direction mm-hmm. that they want, um, I involve them talaga. Like, there you go. Ask them, so you, you know, think, parang message, etc. So, so that's you're how taking more information and you're probing. Yeah, oh it's God. very so collaborative. Yeah, you can call Thank it a you. collaboration. Yeah. In the whole creative process of songwriting, what's your most favorite part? Oh, you know, my favorite part would probably be the end na yung pag pinagpapakinggan ko na yung final mix. Kasi that's when it all comes together. I guess it's much like um, interior design, di ba? When pinaka-exciting dyan, pag nakita mo na yung furniture, etc. Same thing with us. I think um, the part that I look forward to most is when I throw the elements or the, the rough mix or the different tracks to the one who will mix it. And then they, I get it back, and I get to hear it, the, hear it in its final form. To me, that's the most exciting. It's because it's it's when you see your vision come to life. That's the most exciting. I agree. Tama nga naman. Nasa, parang kahit saan na larangan, yun talaga yung... Oh, parang pag nagluto ka, ito na yung kakainin mo na siya. Yun na yung pinakasarap. <laughs> Trina, you are a celebrated songwriter, and you also sing. So I'm curious, we're curious. Do we have to know how to sing or play an instrument to be a good songwriter? Requirement ba yun? I think at the 
at the minimum, you must be able to carry a tune. At the minimum, kailangan kahit pa paano you can hum a tune and, you know, sana nasa tono ka. But, you know, it's not, an, uh, necess- it's not a necessity. It is not necessary. There are songwriters who are able to write even though they don't play an instrument because there are many ways to go about it. There are so many tools nowadays. There are loops. There are, and some, some of them collaborate. Uh, there is a thing they call top lining. So, I mean, nangyayari no, nauuna yung music bed and then they sing on top of it and then they provide lyrics. So, that's actually a way of songwriting where you don't need to play an instrument. Sometimes you can collaborate with uh, other people and still... Ikaw nga- if ever bonus na yon kung marunong bonus, ka may no. alam ka but of course highly recommended the more skills you have the better if you can play an instrument if you can yes. sing ano yon added points mas mas Correct. madaling gumawa ng song i agree trina how do you keep on shining you know, especially at this you know time of the pandemic as you how do you keep on shining how do i keep on shining well you know i just i put myself in i think a, a grateful state you know i um it's it's easy to get lost nowadays diba? Parang with so many things happening the pandemic and we know you know um we there are a lot of problems we have losses uh in in terms of you know we've lost loved ones and and a lot of us have to change our lifestyle some of us very drastically but i think if you have a grateful heart uh, and you think positive, and you put yourself in a in a happy state of mind where you feel good. That is how you will be guided on what your next steps will be. So in my case, that's what I do. I I I sometimes I um, detach myself from everything and just you know take a walk and take a breather and center myself so that I don't get lost in the in all the negativity. Try to keep positive, and then whatever inspiration comes, that's it. When you feel good, it will guide you in, in, in your next steps in life. I couldn't agree more. The attitude of gratitude talaga, talagang lifesaver, oh, no, Ms. Trina? Yes. <laughs> yes. Thank you very much for your time, uh, for this interview. Please share your upcoming projects to our viewers. Well, I have a YouTube channel um, and I have a Spotify um, artist profile. So I would appreciate if you can follow me on both Spotify uh, and subscribe to my YouTube channel and check out all the stuff that I am just um, putting out. I'm also on Facebook. I have a musician's page. So if you can't remember all of that, just go to trinabalamide.com. All my social media accounts are there and I would greatly appreciate if you can follow all of them. Yeah, that would be it. Thank you very much, Miss Trina. Salamat. Thank you Mga good news. Thank you very much. Mga ka good news. Let us know in the comment below what's your aha moment from this interview. Ano yung pinaka nagustuhan mo or na-realize mo? Let us know in the comment. Abangan ang aming susunod na episode ng Filipino Pride Newsmaker. This is Trixie Esguera for Good News Filipinas TV.